Now, this is a long question. So, we will be starting with the last line first. What could be the cause of this condition? Okay, so we should know the cause here. So, let's start with the question. A young patient who appears to be otherwise asymptomatic reports with a sudden loss of 3 kilograms in weight in the recent past. Stools of the patient were pale in color, pale in color. However, lab investigations reveal normal bilirubin levels. So, there are no problem with the normal um, bilirubins. There is no increase. So, there is no chances of jaundice and all. So, these are certain keywords which we have got. So, the only thing which we can go ahead with is the pale color of stool and loss of 3 kilograms in weight. Now, when I was reading this particular question, the first thing that came in my mind is basically the metabolism of bilirubin. So, basically, uh, how bilirubin is formed, I should get into depth of that first and then we will be discussing the question. So, what happens? RBCs, there will be destruction of RBCs that will be forming the hemoglobin and that will be releasing the heme protein and this heme protein is responsible for formation of bilirubin. bilirubin. Now, this bilirubin, bilirubin is taken by the liver. Now, this bilirubin is taken by the liver and through the bile, it will be uh, going to the gallbladder as well as through the bile duct, it will be going to the, first of all, it will be going and concentrating in the gallbladder and then it will be coming to your intestine through the hepatopancreatic duct. So, that will be going to the intestine. Suppose this is the intestine. So, this bilirubin is going to be go inside the liver and through the liver, it will be going to the intestine as well. Now, inside the intestine, there will be what? That will be converted to the urobilinogen. That will be converted to the urobilinogen. And this urobilinogen is water soluble. And that's why it can go to the kidney. That's why it can go to the kidney. This is the kidney. And since it is water soluble, it can go to the kidney and it can be excreted out through the kidney. Right. So, urobilinogen is excreted through the kidney. Now, this urobilinogen can also be changed to the stercobilinogen. Stercobilinogen. Now, this stercobilinogen will be taken out the, of the body and through the feces. Now, since feces are there, so stercobilinogen will be there and this will be leading to the darkness, the characteristic darkness or yellowness of feces, right? And this urobilinogen, urobilinogen that is excreted through the kidney that will be through the urine and that will be responsible for the darkness or yellowness of the urine. Okay. Now, if there is problem with any of the things, for example, stercobilinogen is less, right? So, what will happen? There will be pale stools, right? Due to lack of stercobilinogen. But here, uh, the main focus should be on the loss of 3 kgs in weight. And we know the bile acids, since we don't have the option of bilirubin and all, the bile acids are responsible for emulsification of the fat, emulsification of the fat and this lead to digestion of the fat. And that is something, some clue because there is loss of 3 kg of the weight. So, there must be an assumption that the emulsification of the fat should have been done and there was more uh, emulsification of the fat and that could have led to this loss of 3 kgs in this particular patient. Secondly, the bilirubin was not that much. It was not excreted much to the intestine and that's why less tracobilinogen was formed. So, the pale stools were there. So, yes, of course, the answer is going to be the bile acid through the eruption itself. And if we see the key concept, the patient passed pale clay colored stool due to the absence of tracobilinogen and the pale colored stools are due to the absence of Astrocobilinogen, while the dark color urine is due to the urobilinogen, right? So, that's we have already discussed. So, first of all, the bile pigment, the bilirubin and bilirubin, 
these are the break pound the breakdown products of the heme which we have already seen bile salts what are the bile salts these are actually the bile acids that have formed the salts like glycocolate and torocolate these are produced by the cholesterol now these are important names are important for the bile salts as well now what will happen the fate of the bilirubin which we have already discussed so bilirubin gluconeidase are hydrolyzed in the intestine by specific bacteria enzyme which is known as a beta glucuronidase to liberate bilirubin so this bilirubin will be liberated and it is going to be converted to the urobilinogen a small part of which may be reabsorbed in the circulation urobilinogen will be converted to urobilin in the kidney and it will be excreted and a major part of urobilinogen is converted by bacteria to stercobilin which is excreted through the feces so the characteristic brown color of the feces is due to stercobilin so this all has already been discussed and we can come to the assumption of the first as the correct answer